it's just this color for me that is doing everything for it so y'all that glue is not <laughs> playing i've never had a wig lay down this easy hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel or if you're new thanks for clicking on my video so elephant in the room isn't this cute this is the cutest wig ever like i am literally thinking about possibly would i cut my hair again or now i don't need to because i have this so today i'm going to be reviewing this wig but the star of the show is the products that i use to install it i got a complete all you need wig kit install little gift bag and they sent this to me and packed it with everything I needed to install this wig. Y'all, I'm asleep in it because this wig is not going anywhere at all. She is glued down and she is staying. So, <laughs> I won't keep you guys waiting any longer. If you want to see how I installed this wig, find out the details about it, all that good stuff. See me keep smiling throughout this video because I'm absolutely in love. Hit the subscribe button first. Join the family. And let's get into it. Alright, so I think this is my first, I want to say, synthetic wig review. I have worn synthetic wigs in videos, but I have not done a full review. But I was excited about this wig, so I decided to film it. I have been looking for a shorter style that didn't look too much older, that wouldn't look too dated on me. And I think I found one. So I have Outre, Outre. I've heard it's supposed to be Outre, but not everybody says that. This is the perfect hairline, fully hand tied, 13 by four lace wig in Luxie. Now, I was going back and forth between Blaze and Luxie. These came out at the same time. Blaze is shorter. And I felt like, let me try this first. And then if I like it, I'm going to get the other one too. Because these are like $40. It is their perfect hairline. So it is a frontal, which you can see right there. And then I got this one in 3D RB Coffee Cream. I love this brand. I love the way they make their hairlines look. The hair holds up well. I have other wigs by this brand that I have worn on camera. So I already know what I'm getting, but I need to show y'all. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the box. It has the net, but I love how they make their hairlines look. Like this is way better than a lot of the human hair wigs that I get. So, you know, I'm kind of just like, why can't the human hair companies do that too? So there you can see the 13 by four, the lace on the inside. Is there a comb? No comb here. So two combs on the side, which is pretty standard with most wigs. And then you have your comb here in the back. And this one comes with a sewn in elastic band. And then you also get your adjustable straps with this too. Now this thing I have on my head, I just got. It is a wig cap and a wig grip all in one. So love that I don't have to do two things. And it does say that it helps you not get a headache so quickly. I have only worn a wig overnight, maybe twice. It's just not for me. I take them off as soon as I'm ready for bed, but I'm trying to adjust these adjustable straps real quick. And then I have something else I cannot wait to share with you guys. So a lot of my wig reviews, I have done glueless, but this time we're gonna do a full install. This was sent to me by the brand Wig Dealer. So this is their complete kit to do a wig install. And I haven't even opened this yet, so let's see. We have some, ooh, Extreme Hold Lace Glue, which I don't think I've ever used an actual glue before. Oh, this is nice. So they have a touch-up lace bonding gel. I've always wondered how people wear their wigs for more than one day when the lace starts coming up. So that is good to have. And I love that the applicator on this has this kind of spatula shape. So, and it looks like it's silicone, so it'll be easy just to put on there. We have some scissors. 
We have an elastic band, which you need for that melt. And then we have a baby hair brush. And then there's more. What is this? Oh, an eyebrow razor. Well, it's an eyebrow razor, but you use it to cut the lace. So that's nice. It folds. And then what else do we have? And we have... Oh, they gave me the, oh man, they gave me the good ones. So I've seen videos where you have like your normal wig caps and everybody's like, oh, they're too thick. If you're going to do the ball cap method, they have these super thin like stocking ones. And these are supposed to be like all the rave right now. And I was wondering where I could find them. But look at how thin this is. I should get a normal one to compare. But this is like super thin. So ball cap, hold on. I'm going to get another one to show y'all. Yeah, and these are the same, pretty much the same color, but look how much thinner that one is. So now you can see the difference. If you've ever been wondering, yeah. I'm not using that today because I already have this on, but I might have to reattempt my bald cap method because this is very nice. And I was wondering where I was gonna be able to get them. This is it. So. Everything I have in here is what I need to do an install and a long-term install because they have glue. So let me just see what the wig looks like. I guess I should show y'all the color. So this is what the back of it looks like. I will say I don't like this black at the bottom, but hopefully it won't show a lot. And then this is just it here. So let's put her on real quick and get an idea of what she looks like. I'm wondering if I have this thing too tight. We'll find out. Ooh, yeah, she's snug. I might have to loosen <laughs> those elastic bands. So, all right. You can part it on either side because it is that 13 by four. Oh, this is kind of set. Why am I getting a tangle already? Kind of sassy looking. Yeah, this color is hot. I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna play with her a little bit, but right off the bat, which side do I? Uh oh. Uh oh. I put my cap on the other side, but do I like? Do I like this side better? Oh, hold on. Yeah, buddy. I think we might have to do it on this side. Like, this is gonna be cute. Y'all don't mess around and make me cut my hair again. All right, let's get into this install.
All right, so I'm gonna move into styling this. I probably should have tried to get a little more of the glue off on this side, but y'all, when I tell you that glue sticks, like immediately when I first put it down, it was like, yep, this ain't going nowhere. So this side, I feel like I got a little bit of lace I need to cut off. Y'all gotta be careful with these scissors because I nicked myself twice and actually see a little spot of blood. <laughs> so yeah, that did not feel great with the alcohol, but that's honestly why a lot of times I will use scissors that have a little round, um, that are round on the end, like these here, because when it's that close to your skin and you're trying to get under that lace, you can stick yourself. So. I knew better, but I wanted to use theirs, and they are very, very sharp. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to actually do a dedicated part or just kind of leave it flipped over, but I think I just want to leave it flipped over. Probably need to clean up. Yeah, I'm going to clean up these sides, or I'm going to use some mousse and some hairspray and put me some little sideburns to cover up these sides because sides don't normally stay down for me anyway. And so I think that will be my best bet. So I'm gonna cut a little tiny piece. That is one thing I learned watching all these hair videos is you have to customize your wigs for yourself because it does not always work as well for some people as it does others. Like it's not gonna come straight out the box customized for what you need for your head. So we're just gonna do a little tuck behind the ear and then pull this down and stick it like it's a little sideburn. And then that way you hide that little part that didn't wanna act right. So yeah. Oh my God, I'm gonna be in love with this wig. I need to figure out this parting situation. I don't love that the hairline is as round as it is, so it definitely needs some plucking. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like straight out of the box. It's just this color for me. That is doing everything for it. So, y'all, that glue is not <laughs> playing. I've never had a wig lay down this easy. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys what the back looks like. I don't even know what the back looks like myself. So yeah, this is the side. So you can see it is cute. And look at these layers. And then this is uh -uh, the back. And then this other side right here, I think my little tuck looks all right i don't know y'all gonna i'm gonna see it when i'm editing but this almost makes me want to cut my hair again i am not even lying and i don't think i've ever put on a wig that fast that feels this secure this makes me want to get more colors like i think this is so cute i didn't even part it like there's so many different ways you can style this i'm gonna keep rambling and flipping my hair because that's what you do when you have a new do so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want a very easy to wear, kind of short, this is short, but like not too, too pixie, this is perfect. Wig dealer, thank you so much for sending me this set, this install kit. Everything I needed was in it. The only thing I didn't have was a rat, a rat tail comb, which I have my own, but this melting band, this glue, Y'all, y'all saw how much I put, and I honestly think that I put too much, but it dried down clear. I just have to, like I said, I never use glue, like rarely ever. It's more about like putting it where I want it and making sure I don't have extra because I feel like there's still some more that I probably need to rub off. But I'm gonna see, I'm gonna sleep in this because she's stuck. She's stuck, but I'm gonna see how this works if I need to touch it up tomorrow, but can we get a hair? Yeah, for some short hair because this is giving. 
Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of the video. Thank you, Wig Dealer, for sending me this kit. It made this install pretty much a breeze as far as it's sticking. I just need to get better with the application part. I had everything I needed to make this look come out sassy and flawless, and I absolutely love it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I hope you decided to stay and subscribe and join the family. I will see you in my next video. Bye.